Welcome to Daily CoinQ Crypto News. Here are today's headlines. Stable coins are chastised by the Bank of England for being unstable. Dogecoin founder calls every token on the Binance Smart Chain as garbage. South Korea finds evidence do Do Kwan money laundering. Terraform Labs moved $4.8 million through a shell company. Chipotle chain of fast casual restaurants officially accepts cryptocurrency. Now let's dive into the details. Stable coins are chastised by the Bank of England for being unstable. According to Bloomberg, a Bank of England official has criticized stable coins, claiming that they are unstable, referring to UST and USDT in particular. Andrew Hauser, the Bank of England's Executive Director for Markets, recently discussed what stable coins like UST and Tether's USDT lack and why they're inappropriate for widespread consumer use. He claims that the UST and USDT do not disclose adequate real-time data on their worth or details on how they maintain fiat convertibility. They're not stable, he said, adding that holders of these digital assets should be aware that they may incur significant financial losses as a result of these cryptocurrencies. Dogecoin founder calls every token on the Binance Smart Chain as garbage. Billy Marcus, the co-founder of meme cryptocurrency Dogecoin, has expanded his criticism of many digital currency projects, the latest of which being Binance Smart Chain. Marcus referred to all BSC tokens as garbage on his Twitter account on June 2nd while criticizing BSC Gem, claiming it doesn't exist. He implied that BSC doesn't fit the decentralized status requirement, claiming that such a network should not exist. The computer analyst also saw that accounts promoting BSC Gem are either scam bots or operated by people he described as a scumbag or an idiot. Previously, the co-founder has chastised crypto investors for not having enough expertise of the industry before investing in various ventures. South Korea finds evidence do Do Kwan money laundering. Currently, Terra's CEO is in legal trouble after receiving mass charges of money laundering through Terraform Labs. According to Fat Man, Do Kwan did this thanks to establishing a blockchain consulting firm called Kernel Labs. The National Tax Service discovered last year that Kernel Labs had received a 6 billion won cryptocurrency from Terra, according to KBS, the South Korean news agency. In 2021, Terra's CEO was fined 100 billion won, about 80 million US dollars, for tax evasion, and it's also possible that this amount will increase because, in Korea, only the income made will be taxed. Terraform Labs moved $4.8 million through a shell company. Do Kwan was fined last year for tax evasion and ordered to pay 100 billion won in taxes. The amount is expected to rise over time, as only realized gains are taxed for cryptocurrency in South Korea. The new allegations suggest that this is not the only crime for which he is now being investigated. The latest allegations suggest that Terraform Labs' sister company, Kernel Labs, received 6 billion won, $4.8 million, from Terraform Labs. While this could be a complete innocent transaction for consulting services, the recent actions of Do Kwan to remove any association of himself to Kernel Labs makes the transaction appear suspicious. Chipotle chain of fast casual restaurants officially accepts cryptocurrency. Chipotle Mexican Grill, a popular Mexican-style fast food restaurant chain, officially accepts crypto payments through its Flexa platform. Flexa is a multi-purpose digital payment gateway mainly for merchants, currently supporting about 98 currencies, including BTC and ETH. Flexa is compatible with hardware at the point of sale and was born with the aim of reducing costs and payment time for users. Customers can use this payment gateway to pay for food at any of the nearly 3,000 Chipotle restaurants in the United States. To pay with Flexa, customers need to download the Gemini or SPEDN app. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to the CoinQ channel to stay up to date on the latest news.